You see, one of the basic truths of leadership is that you can never not lead. You can never not lead. You're always leading, and people are watching everywhere that you go. The more you learn, the more you're going to earn. If you're getting ready to prepare for that opportunity between now and five years from now, you would have read 60 books on leadership. Orchestrating success demands that we leave our comfort zone. We have to do things that we might not be quite as comfortable about as, uh, as opposed to doing the same things that we've done. Everybody get your sheet of paper. I want you to do, uh, I want you to do two things. One instruction is to do exactly what I tell you to do. Second thing, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to fold it in half. Just fold the sheet of paper in half. Tear off the upper right hand corner. Tear off the upper left hand corner. How many of you did exactly what I told you to do? I've done this for hundreds of thousands of people and nobody's ever done one like that. <laughs> All right, what's the problem here? What, what, why didn't you do what I told you to do? You didn't ask us if we understood what you were saying. Okay, if you depend on others' perceptions to match your expectations, you're going to be disappointed every single time. There are five clarity questions. If you ask these five questions, I'll guarantee you, you'll come across the magical question, which is the sixth one. What's required? How am I doing? Does anybody give a flip around here? How's the team doing? Where do we fit in to something greater and bigger than just us? If you will answer all five of those, what's required? How am I doing? Does anybody care? How's the team doing? And where do we fit in? You answer all five of those, they'll ask you the magical question. The magical question is, what can I do to help? Consider it done. What if every time you gave something to someone, they came back to you and said, consider it done. These types of truths can transform your organization, seriously. Or what if every time something came from corporate and you came back and say, consider it done. Consider it done. Three simple words that really mean integrity. It means commitment. It means we're gonna do it. It means you can rest easy. It means that it's going to happen the right way. You can consider it done. You know, most people do not have specific goals that they're trying to accomplish. In fact, less than 5%, less than 5% have specific goals that they're trying to accomplish. And out of those, less than 1% have written goals that they're trying to do. Less than 1% have written down, clearly stated, this is what I'm trying to accomplish and this is what our team is trying to accomplish. Less than 1%. There is power in goals. If you want a, to be a million dollar operation next year, Put the goal down, make it visible to everybody, have it in the bathrooms, have it in, on, on the walls, have it everywhere that you look. We are a million dollar store. Our job as leaders is to take whatever comes along, no matter what, and make it better. Just move it forward because you're there, because you're the one who is leading the pack here. Now, sometimes you won't be able to move it as forward as you might want to. But your job is no matter what comes along, no matter what economic conditions, no matter what the conditions are anywhere within your organization, no matter what, your job is to move it forward. You see, our legacy of all the people in this room, our legacy depends on what we give. It doesn't depend on what we take with us. Our legacy is what we give to other people. And one thing that we all have to give is we have knowledge, we've been there. We have experience, we've done that. 
We have information we can help out. Those are things that we can give to leave our legacy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.